بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ری چیک اینڈ سالو یور ورک بک پیج نمبر 75 دیٹ از فرام چیپٹر 4 اینڈ لیسن 1 سو ٹو ٹیل یو یور انسر پلیز یو کین اوپن یور ورک بک پیج نمبر 75 سو دی فرسٹ ہیئر دی سٹیٹمنٹ از مینشن دیٹ the constant movement of water as a liquid and as a gas between earth's air and its surface is a what it mean it's going to tell you about the complete rotation complete rotation so you know very well that is cycle the energy for the water cycle comes from the so you know very well the biggest source of the energy on this yes very good so the s should be capital here now next second statement it's uh, going to tell you solar energy causes water on earth surface to change change to gas and rise into the atmosphere during the process of this the easiest one you know in which water is converted from liquid state to gaseous state so what we call this evaporation number 3 as gaseous water rises and cools it turns into droplets of liquid water during the process of so you can say here uh, in number 3 statement it the conversion of gaseous water into back liquid state so that is called as condensation number 4 water droplets may fall from the atmosphere back to earth's surface as dash so you know very well when it's convert into liquid there are uh, many types it's telling you such as rain and snow so this process is named as precipitation now next number 5 some water soaks into the ground and collects in pores in soil and rock to become so you know very well when water falls on any surface what happened mostly it uh, run over that surface and the pores and the hole it will also go into these uh pores or you can say that the soaks up like a tissue paper when you put or uh, just keep near the water what happened it start to soak the water a cloth a piece of paper they all do like this so if in this way water move down so what we call this ground water number 6 plants take water from the soil and return it to the air through their leaves during you know very well uh, when plants prepare their own food the process is named as photosynthesis in this what happened they take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and also water and minerals from their roots so the absorption of water from soil with the help of their roots when that water moves to the air back through their leaf this process is named as transpiration
Number seven, the constant exchange of carbon among Earth's living organism is the, the first topic that we done. It was all about the water cycle. Now the second one here, we're going to discuss about carbon cycle and you know very well. So what we name this one, that is called carbon cycles. Now number eight, during photosynthesis, as I explain you, plants take dash from the air and use it to make food and other living things use. So you know very well what they prepare during their uh, photosynthesis. They also give the oxygen as a byproduct and use, uh, utilize carbon dioxide from the atmosphere with the help of their leaves and water from their roots. So plant takes, what we're going to write here, the correct one is, carbon dioxide. Now after uh, solving and understanding page number 75, let's move to page number 76. So everyone, please open and tell your answers, especially the spellings. Now on page number 76, you can see statement number nine, that is also from a uh, carbon cycle. Animals and plants burn carbon with food during cellular dash. And then release carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. So you know very well, this process we name as <clears throat> Number 10, fossil fuels which form from the decay remains of living things releases the carbon in them when they are dashed. So that a process fossil fuels, you know very well, the remaining of the animals or plants after a long period of time, they convert into fossils. We call them fossils like coal, you know, natural gas, the fuel, these all are called fossil fuels. So when, what happened when we burned them? <laughs> Burn. So after uh, carbon cycle, we also learned about nitrogen cycle that is started from statement number 11. Although most of Earth's atmosphere is nitrogen, you know very well. How much? What the percentage? Almost? 25. No, 78. That is the correct answer. So this uh, almost 78 to 79, little bit, but 78 is mentioned in our book. Okay. So that it is in a form that most living things can use. So this is called fixed. Okay. Nitrogen can be fixed by volcanic action by dash and by nitrogen fixing. You know very well. So the first here, lightning, and the second one in statement number 12, bacteria, number 13. Plants use nitrogen to make dash, which get into the bodies of animals when they 
egg, plants or plant animals. Okay. So what happened in this statement? Well done. Very good. Oh, feel there is a mistake and no. he finds some spelling wrong. Please make it correct. Excellent. No. Now, number 13. You know very well that is the essential part of proteins. The second last, number 14, nitrogen returned to the soil in the dash. So as you know, all the waste of the animals. So this answer is waste. Number 15, last one <clears throat> on your workbook page number 76. This is about the matter recycle. People can reduce their use of natural resources through very easy recycling. Recycling means you're going to use the things again and again, but the thing should be able to recycle. Uh, we already done and I saw it with the workbook page number 72 and 73. But for a quick review, I'm just going to share with you these two pages. So the student, they already done excellent. The remaining just going to uh, tally your answers one again, once again. So that is the workbook page. Yeah, this one. So you can see that on your workbook page number 72, the correct answer, the first one is B, second one is C, third A, fourth one again A, number five, here D, number six, B, number seven, C. After that, on your workbook page number 73, the question number eight, the MCQ number eight, the correct one is D, nine, A, 10, again A, 11, the correct one is C. So number 12, D, 13, C, 14, C, and number 15, that is B.